Hi guys, my name is Nick and this is Nick Creation Channel. So we have Docs Dev, Smart Contract Audits, Game Communities, Game Experience, Known Partners and Launchpad, The Tokenomics, but what are the things that you are looking at when joining a game? Join me in checking this Peak Minds and let me know your thoughts. Peak Minds is a blockchain based play to earn mining game running on the Binance Smart Chain which is a native BP20 token called Peak used for the entire internal economy. In Peak Minds, your workers collect several minerals that once refined can be exchanged for Peak tokens as well as you can use them to forge various jewels that will increase their value. Alright, so if you want to know more about the game, so you can go to their website, so peakminds.com, and then on the upper right, you can see all of the information. Everything is in the white paper. You can buy their tokens through PancakeSwap by clicking this link. And then the contract address, you can get more details about it, including the contract audit, the know your customer, their contacts, even the links to their social media accounts. And if you want to start playing it, so you can download the game to your Android phone or iOS and then you can also click this play now and you will be redirected to this website. So here you can see that you will need to approve minting of mines and then you can also approve minting of workers approved mending of the inventory which are related to the minerals and peak access so this will be necessary as complementary requirements with the workers so you can start your mining you can also check here the furnaces which is also important you can use the furnace from your guild or you can also purchase your personal and then there is also refining where you can refine your mineral and then in the future entities can be sold in this marketplace and here you can also have the bank for exchanges and then you can get all of your details here related to your email your wallet address and even your qr code so that you can access your account through your mobile phones upon checking the white paper you will only need at least 10 to 30 US dollars in order to play the game. Alright, so let's look at the team behind this project. So the team is fully doxxed and then they have shared their link in here. So their CEO is Jensen Ramos, the COO is Christian Cosumano, and then the CMO is Jose Valesilios. So for this project, we are able to connect with Jose via Telegram. The team is from Venezuela and the background of their CEO is from is from IT industry the COO is also from IT industry and you can see recommendation here last January 2021 and they have established this inflection studios also guys peak minds has been doing a lot of AMA session to YouTube channel so at least you can see here that the CEO and the CMO are having a live AMA. Also, let's take note that this project has done 20 AMAs with content creators on Twitch and YouTube showing and exposing their faces. So we can see here the release schedule of their tokens. Like 80% of their tokens will be released for the next one year. And if you will go to their initial liquidity offering, so they've started that last february 18. we have to highly consider this when going to the project and as we know as long as we are going to a project with good fundamentals and the possibility to grow in the long-term perspective it will be a win-win scenario let's also take note here that the team allocation is just five percent and the total token supply is only 10 million peak tokens you can also highlight that this project has been audited by solid proof this is from germany and we can see that they have 108,000 followers they also did kyc with them and you can see the proof here so you can open their contract audit 
and the KYC here. So this is also important to ensure that the project is legit. Also guys, if you will look at their audit and KYC, they are also audited by Certik. One of the highlights of their audit with Certik is that they are the first project that does an audit of the decentralized application to upgrade the security of the game. This means that they have two audits of the contract and one audit of the decentralized application or DAP from SolidProof and Certik. The project has been financed entirely by the team. Also, after the release of the token, since the game is already available, the community can invest and they will be ready to play the game. Also, here you can see their wallet addresses. So you can also check it by yourself. I have checked their token contracts and majority of the tokens are in the reward pool. Their liquidity is blocked with Unicrypt for 266 years. So this will be their token vesting. Take note that their token pre-sale was exclusively made in Unicrypt where they did not touch a single BNB and everything from it went straight to the liquidity. Coin market cap, so they also have the process of KYC. So their token is already here. Although we are slightly seeing a downtrend movement of the tokens. So still this is just a two month period and their vesting schedule of tokens will happen for the next 11 to 12 months so make sure that you'll be able to consider all of this information before you invest of course this is not a financial advice do your own research and make your own decisions if you believe with the fundamentals of the game that we're currently presenting to this video so if you also want to check their pricing so you can also monitor or track that through their coin gecko listing since this is also a new game we can see from their discord channel that they have 5,000 members as of the moment so this is really in the early phase so if you want to know more about the game and you want to be updated so make sure you join their discord channel okay so also their telegram announcements has 2534 subscribers and they expect it to grow more as they continue to do their marketing campaign so just to give you a quick background so you can buy their nfts with a rarity of common rare and epic and these are the probabilities of getting them they also have a specific success rate in mining so this affects the the minerals that you can mine and then if you level up your nft you can get maximum of 20 percent because every level you can get plus two percent in terms of the success rate and when you want to buy a worker nft the cost is 10 peak tokens so it will be around four us dollars as of the current price of the token and when you want to to fire your worker then you will get the 20% of your mean cost one thing that we need to consider as well is that when I tried to approve my minting so it will ask you a fee of 0.13 US dollars and if you want to mint a worker so after approving the minting so you can just buy it like this so as mentioned, it will be around 4 US dollars for one worker. And the maximum that you can buy will be 10 workers only. Going back to the other information, so we can check the peak access. So the rarity will be the same, common, rare, and epic. The chances are here, 60, 30, and 10. And then the durability will be 20, 30, and 40. And then the mining power will be 40 to 60, 60 to 80, and 80 to 100 and you can buy them by five peak tokens you can also buy that on the marketplace but currently it is not available and if you burn them you will get the 20 percent of the mean cost note that this is a fundamental part of the mining process and they are required so that the worker can make extractions and when you want to buy them so you can go to the inventory and then you can try to mint so as confirmed it will be five peak 
and then you can get maximum of 10 so it will be 50p tokens the next thing that we will be checking is the mining so mines are the source of minerals every mine has a raw mineral quantity of 1000 so you can mine that once per day so the success rate and the obtained amount of raw mineral will depend on the worker and peak acts respectively so once you have extracted all the available minerals from a mine it will be destroyed so you can buy them through the store so for example coal 5 peak iron 15 peak silver 20 peak gold 25 peak and diamond 30 peak so we can try that here as well so if you get mines then yep these are the minerals that you can get so it only means that you will take chances from getting minerals from the mine which can give you around 1000 right but only percentage of that can be mined by your workers in their acts another thing is the furnaces so this is necessary to refine raw materials to obtain one refined mineral you will need 100 of a raw mineral and a quantity of coal depending on the kind of it refining process will take eight hours so the amount of minerals that you can refine simultaneously depends on the rarity of the furnaces as follow. So you can see here all of the information. And if you don't have your own furnace, you can use the furnace of your guild or if you have something in your refinery. So the price of it is only 20 peak and you can also buy that in the marketplace if anyone will be selling it so you can see it here and then you can have your own furnace and the maximum is 10. for the refinery so you can refine your own minerals without owning a furnace this will allow you to obtain one refined mineral but you will need 120 of our own mineral comparing to 100 of the furnace so you need an amount of coal depending on the mineral refining process will be longer so it will be 24 hours the disadvantage of this is that you cannot two simultaneous refining of minerals so you can also buy that here so you can refine and that's it so you won't need to buy any furnace for this one so for example if you want to put gold so you will be needing 32 coals and then 120 gold for the guild you can build your own and it will cost 20 peak so it will be up to 100 members this is also an opportunity to earn raw minerals because you can add certain fee for example 10 percent and then requiring them 110 raw minerals and you can get the 10 percent of it all right so here you can exchange your refined minerals to peak tokens through the bank so you can see that bank here you can do that here so right now we don't have something to exchange but here are the exchange that you can see actually you cannot get the tokens right away so there will be 50 percent fee but if you will wait for 10 days because it will be reduced by 5% each day until the release date so in order to get the 100% you need to wait for 10 days for the marketplace so all of the items that will be sold here 10% fee will be deducted 8% will go to the rewards pool 2% will be sent to the development team so the currency in the marketplace is also peak tokens so maybe just for a quick recap so if you want to play this game you will be needing a worker a peak axe and a mine so the worker success rate will be crucial and all other factors like rarity in getting the maximum minerals from the mines so what you want to do here is to convert all of the mines that you will be buying into minerals okay so the peak axe has an impact in improving the success rate for the mining power of your account okay because we don't have the workers right now but once you have it you can just click the worker and then you can equip the pickaxe available for them and take note guys that your pickaxe has durability and once it has reached the limit so it will be destroyed okay so once your worker your pickaxe 
are ready so you can buy the mine so once you have a mine you will have the opportunity to get a quantity of 1000 minerals but of course it depends on your mining power and once you refine it you can exchange it to pick tokens okay so if you believe that this project is interesting to you so you can also check their social media links here make sure that you go to the official links so we can ensure that we are speaking with the right people and we get the right information that we need whether you want it or not we cannot control the future of the games that we are getting into so depending on the fundamentals and the way we look at a project in a long-term perspective we can take risk, but we need to ensure that we're only investing what we can afford to lose. Always do your own research to ensure that whatever outcomes that we encounter, we take responsibility in our decisions. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!